like, I'm not growing followers, I'm not growing likes, and I'm wondering, like, am I doing something wrong? What's up, you guys? We are here in Seattle talking about Instagram tips and tricks. Say you've been uploading or doing something with my advice for the next four months and you still don't get the results you want. What do you do next? Today, we're gonna to talk about what to do when you feel stuck and most of the times there's a lack of consistency, which we'll get into. You do not wanna miss a beat. Hey, you're on the Ask Jade Show. Hi, how are you? What's your name? What's, where are you from? I'm good. I'm Nicholas. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> I want to know, man. Nicholas, how can I help you? What's your problem? Okay, so I've been like following your, following your advice for a long time. Been following you since you've like had like a thousand subs. Oh, loyal. Thank you for all your like great advice. It's truly appreciated, brother. Yeah, so um, I feel like I've been stepping up my content but I feel like I'm not getting engagement at all like I feel like I'm not growing followers I'm not growing likes and I'm wondering like am I doing something wrong with the marketing because I feel like I have my content in place I'm just not doing well with my marketing and distribution I mean what do you think probably that's the answer right you think it's distribution you don't you feel like your content's there but you just you lack something in distribution okay yeah. So if that's what you feel, I'm going to take a look. Let me just like snope, scope the area. How long have you been doing Instagram? Or tell me more about what you post. Um, okay. So originally I started out sort of like as like a travel blog or whatever. And then I sort of found that, okay, yeah, everybody's doing that. Sort of unfulfilling or whatever. So I'm starting to like change um, my Instagram to sort of like share because I'm also do, I'm a student journalist. So I also do a bunch of like journalism stuff. So I'm looking to share like my stories from my life or stories from other people's life and hoping to share with others so maybe people can connect with them and get through some difficult times, whatever. And so I'm trying to be more open and honest on social media. Got it, got it, got it. I love, first of all, super artsy. I'm looking at your Insta, super cute. I'll put your little pop tag right here. Boop, okay. So Darmination, go check him out. I wanna like, the Darmination will be here for you. So I'm gonna give you some advice and we're gonna make sure you implement it because I think you're facing something called a lack of freaking patience. You only have like 10 posts where you implemented beautiful captions and content. I think if you can also, you can maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but right now you're trying to go maybe target people that are like, like, you know, also artsy and young and maybe students too. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, and those people, there's a bunch of freaking people just like you. So how do you stand out? So my thing is, I think you're the best chance you have is, by the way, I love that you're implementing the bio thing with the hashtags. You're listening so well. Okay, so I think you're on the right track. I would just say, you post about like, you post like five days ago and you post March 14th. I think it's a lack of consistency. So what I would do is for the next 30 days, I would do one post a day. And right now, if what's your highest liked post? Like what's your highest and most at least engaged post? I think um, my most engaged post has like 157 likes and maybe like 10 comments. Oh. I found it. Wow. Okay. 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 So now what I would do, so that's your highest like light post. I would do, do, okay. This sounds super lame, but I would do more like right now you're going back and forth from outdoor sky, you photography, like this, you know, I would do like literally 30 window pictures and every single caption is a window to your soul caption. Like with the theme of how windows kind of like, I don't know, make yourself a freaking artsy, but like I would do literally make yourself into the window Instagram to get traction. And when people know you for that, then you can do whatever the frick you want. It's going to, it's about getting traction and doing it for the next 37 days instead of every week you post a photo and hoping it goes well, okay? Okay. So I want you to be able, I, the Dharma Nation is going to make sure you're the window guy. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to be the window guy. But, like, if you would like to be the one to, you know, be the number one search, like, be the number one account, I think you need to, you're not, you're not sticking out because you're, like, you're, like, inspirational, like, kind of, like, artsy vibe is very very common and you're not sticking through so i would say either niche down with a, something crazy like a window yeah what's up okay well thank you so much guys for watching this episode i will go have the part two with uh, this vlog in the bio if you want to be that on the next ask uh, right show comment down below and fill out the form if there's a spot left if not i am here for you guys so much shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner
comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Comment below what your question is. I'll get back to it in a video or in the captions. I check through every single comment every time I upload every single day. Right, guys, make sure you comment below something you want to see next. Okay? Okay? Okay. See you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.